It's almost 2024. We are not wasting another year. Let's stop the excuses and start reaching our dream body. This is your time to build a dream body, build your confidence, and start really working towards your goals. Keep watching this video to become the best version of yourself. We are back again with another video. Your girl been on her YouTube grind. I am in my YouTube grind era. Go ahead and just subscribe to this channel while you're already here. Give this video a big thumbs up because it's going to be a great video. But in today's video, I am going to give you guys a step-by-step -step guide to reaching your goals before the new year. So 2024 is right around the corner. It's going to come way faster than what you think. So it's good to get a head start. Start reaching your goals early. Be ahead of everyone else. Get a head start and start chasing your dream body. Start eating healthy foods. Start getting in shape before the new year begins, okay? So I'm going to give you guys 10 tips on how to actually start your fitness journey. So if you're a beginner in the gym or you're someone that just fell off, of your routine and you just need some motivation to get back on track then this video is for you so let's just get right into it step number one make a commitment to yourself you have to sit down with yourself and really say okay listen I know I may be out of shape I know I have goals in mind but I have to make this commitment to myself because I have to better myself as a person. I have to better my health. I have to set an example for my family and friends, for my kids. I have to do this for myself. So sit down and actually find your reason why you want to go to the gym. Whether that's maybe it's health issues or maybe it's insecurities or maybe you're just simply not confident in yourself. Take 10 to 15 minutes for yourself and really dig deep on why you want to go to the gym what your plan is and what you plan on doing when you start this journey. Step number two, start small. Make realistic goals, set realistic goals. They want to go to the gym, they want to lose 50 pounds, want to be the strongest person in the world, but wait, pause. You need to start slow. Just remember that it, this is okay that you are a beginner. It's okay that you're starting from scratch, but you have to know where you're at in your journey. If you're a beginner, if you've never been to a gym, if you never picked up a weight before, then you have to start small and then work your way up. So you can have those long-term goals in mind. That's totally fine. That's okay. But you have to set realistic goals. Start by making smaller goals. So if your overall goal is to lose 50 pounds, start by saying, I want to lose five pounds this month. Or I want to better my squat form within three months. I want to start by at least eating one healthy meal throughout the day. That is what setting small realistic goals are. And that's what's going to help you keep you on track. Rather than having that long-term goal in mind, sometimes we get caught up and we start to lose our sense of focus and start to look past our small wins, our small victories, because we're so focused on that end goal. So it's so important if you are a beginner in the gym to make small goals. Don't forget about the small victories and just work your way up until you get to that point. Step number three, now we're going to make a plan. So. You know you want to go to the gym, you know you want to lose 50 pounds, you know you want to get strong as heck. How are you about to do it? So, I need you to get a journal, get your iPhone, and start making a plan. So if you do not have a specific plan going to the gym, you're going to be all over the place. You're not going to know what to do, why you're doing it, and how often you need to be doing it. So write down, I'm going to go to the gym three times a week. Day one, I'm going to work on my upper body. Day two, I'm going to work on my glutes and my quads, for example. Day three, I'm gonna do some cardio and work on my hamstring. Make a plan and stick with it. Do not expect just some magical results to happen within a few months, okay? You guys have to understand of years and years and years of maybe not having the best diet or just not moving your body. It's gonna be very hard to combine all of your results in just a few months. So please, whatever plan you're having, just give it time for it to work. You're seeing small changes, maybe weekly or monthly. That means that the plan is working, but of course you're not going to just see huge results in a small amount of time. Especially if your goal is fat loss and muscle growth. Building muscle takes so long, way longer than you expect. Losing fat takes so long. Learn the difference between fat loss and weight loss. Those are two totally different things. I use it as an interchangeable term. A lot of people do. Just remember that fat loss takes a long time. You have to give it time. You have to stay dedicated and consistent to actually start reaching your goals. 
And let's say you don't have time to do research on making a plan or you just simply don't know what to do to make this plan. Hire a personal trainer or a coach. Personal training and coaching, it can get expensive, but you have to say, this is what I want. My health is so important to me, but I'm telling you guys, getting someone that you can trust and you can build a relationship with, someone that is knowledgeable and can actually help you reach your goals, you're going to speed up your progress 100%. They're making your workout plan. They're making your meal plan. They're giving you motivation. They're educating you daily. So why not do it? if your car is messed up. Do you spend the time trying to figure out how to fix your car on your own or do you pay someone to just fix it? It's the same thing. Just write down what your priorities are and be real with yourself. If you know for a fact that your health and your body is a priority, then make it a priority. You're going to feel more confident in yourself. You always got someone to ask for help or ask questions. You always have that person behind you. It's so important to have that person to always fall back on, always keep you motivated in the gym. But if you're going to that loss and muscle girl, then I may be the perfect coach for you. I coach clients that are trying to lose stubborn body fat, that are trying to build strength in the gym. If that is your goals, then all my links are down below. Make sure to fill out an acquiring form, or if you just have questions, you can always send me an email, or if it makes it easier on you, you can DM me on Instagram, and then we can start talking about your goals and what I can offer. Okay, so you either made a plan, you did your research, you know what you're about to do in the gym, or you hired a coach, a personal trainer, and now you're ready to hit the gym. Next step is to prepare. You need to find out what shoes you're gonna wear, what clothes you're gonna wear. Now, this is not so important right now as a beginner, but I would say the most important right now is to get proper shoes. So let's say that you're in a strength training, you know that you're going to be squatting and deadlifting and doing all those fun stuff, you need the proper shoes and it will definitely help you starting off. I'll definitely say wear any flat sole shoes like Converse, Vans, or anything that is flat soled. So the difference between a flat sole shoe and a regular shoe. Having a shoe that has that cushion on the bottom of the shoe, it can make you unstable, it can make you uncomfortable, and it's hard to feel more connected to the ground when you have those type of shoes. It just makes you more stable and efficient on certain movements. So definitely on your lower body days, having a flat sole shoe is the best way to go or even going barefoot. I used my old Converse, they were so beat up, they were so dirty, but it was like kind of cool looking, you know, like lifting and dirty shoes was kind of like the thing back in the day. And I wore those faithfully and they work perfectly. You don't have to have anything fancy right now. Use what you have and it will work out, I promise. When it comes to a weightlifting belt, you don't need it right now, but I would invest in a nice belt, just something to protect your back and to help you brace. So make sure that you get your weightlifting belt and flat sole shoes for leg day. When it comes to physical attire, like I said, do not worry about having the most expensive or the most fancy workout clothes. I feel like this is like holding people back from actually going to the gyms because they don't have gym clothes. Girl, go put on some leggings and a sweatshirt. If that's all you got right now, do it because you don't want to keep holding back just because you don't have workout clothes or you don't have the correct attire. Use what you have now, then you start getting the clothes that you actually want to wear. But I do understand wearing cute attire definitely like boosts your energy, it boosts your performance in the gym, it just makes you feel more confident in yourself. And I take my gym clothes seriously. I have to go to the gym looking like the main character, looking like that girl. Okay, I just feel so more confident and I perform a lot better when I'm feeling good because when you're looking cute, you lift heavy, right? Find clothes that make you feel sexy, make you feel good, make you feel strong and confident in yourself and it definitely helps. But if you don't have it right now, don't worry, just use whatever clothes you have and then eventually you can get into buying gym clothes that you like. Remember, you do not need fancy pre-workouts or protein powder. I'm not saying I didn't take pre-workout or protein powder. I'm not saying I never took that in the past, okay? Listen, protein powder will never replace whole nutritious food. Pre-workout will never replace a good night's sleep. Why don't you start with the basics, starting by eating whole nutritious foods, finding ways to get actual whole dense protein in your diet rather than supplementing it for protein powder. And pre-workout, are you getting enough sleep? Start by having a long, well-rested night, getting at least eight to 10 hours a night, instead of supplementing it for a pre-workout. You guys have to start with the basics. You guys have to understand that not everything has to be supplemented and not everything is worth even putting in your body. So start with the basics. You don't need those supplements right now. Do not stress at all about getting supplements if you are new to the gym and you want to start your fitness journey. Next up is to sign up for a gym. Now, when it comes to the gym, 
I ain't gonna say that I ain't picky with my gems. I'm very, very picky with my gems, but I have a reason to because I make content and the vibes gotta be vibing. The gem gotta be gemming. Some gems just don't work for me because they don't require phones and cameras and tripods and all of that. So I'd say that you don't care about all that. You don't care about recording. You don't care about the aesthetics. Then get a basic gym. Go to Planet Fitness. It's five to ten dollars a month. Why not do it? You're a beginner. Who cares about the aesthetics? Go to Planet Fitness. But let's say that you're more into parlor. If you know that that's exactly what you want to do, of course you need to go to a gym that has power lifting equipment. Around and just try to find a gym that has that equipment pertaining to your goal. Diet changes. Now when it comes to meal prepping and getting on track, oh, it's like if you're new, you're like, what the hell am I supposed to eat? How much am I supposed to be eating for my goals? Start small, you do not have to meal prep five days a week. As a beginner, I don't even have my clients count their calories for the first six months. You know why? Even if counting calories means that they're going to reach their goals quicker, I don't do that because it's very hard for a beginner to going from one kind of diet, which may not be the healthiest, to going straight to hardcore, checking their macros, eating healthy, getting all their protein in. That's very, very hard and difficult. And most of the time, that's when people want to give up because things are too hard and they're having that all to nothing mindset. So start small. Even if starting small is just eating one healthy meal per day. Or that means meal prepping three days out the week. Starting small like that, so that way you're building healthy habits. Then once you got that down, go to four days a week and then go to five days a week where you're meal prepping. So that's where you're like slowly progressing over time rather than just going straight into it and trying to be 100% with it. Nothing about fitness is 100%. You can't always go 100%. So I definitely recommend just starting small and then working your way up. Do what you enjoy. You do not have to fall into a niche type of exercise. So if you love powerlifting, that doesn't mean that you can't do yoga or that you can't run marathons or that you can't do other things just because you're into powerlifting. So you don't have to fall into a niche type of exercise. Do exactly what you enjoy because your fitness journey will be a lot easier when you have something that you actually like and something that you look forward to. My next point that falls into the topic is find something inside of fitness that you enjoy. So if I did it power lift, honestly, I'm not lying. The gym will be so freaking boring. I probably wouldn't have given up, but I'll be definitely unmotivated and definitely wouldn't have a reason to go to the gym because of course, for me, how my body looks, my physical appearance, of course that's important. When it comes to powerlifting, I feel much more confident in myself. I feel like I have more to give than just how my body looks. So that's why strength training is so much more important to me than just how my body looks. It feels great to know that my body is capable of pushing so much weight. It's capable than a lot of other things other than just looking good. So that's why I love powerlifting has kept me so motivated in the gym. And even making content, content has kept me so motivated, kept me so disciplined to keep going to the gym because how am I gonna make content without going to the gym? And if that's making a fitness page or start posting YouTube videos or whatever it is, doing something you love inside of fitness is going to keep you motivated. So whether that's doing a sport inside of fitness, doing yoga, running marathons, doing hot Pilates, whatever it is, find that thing that you absolutely love, that you enjoy so much, that you know you can't live without, then maybe it's over with. Like you are unstoppable. You will last a lifetime. Do it and I promise you it is a game changer. It's a life changer. When it comes to body changes, body changes depends on what your physical goal is. It's a lot easier to lose weight rather than just building muscle and losing fat. Those goals are two totally different things and some goals may take longer than the other. So when it comes to body changes, do not compare some random girl on TikTok, her fitness journey, she lost weight pretty fast, but that's not even your goal. Is your goal weight loss or is your goal building strength and building muscle? So don't compare your journey to someone else's because they may have specific goals in mind. It may be totally different from your own, but let's say that you have the same goal as someone else and you see that they got results pretty quick. You have to remember, so someone maybe has been an athlete all their life, so maybe strength comes a little bit easier for them. Let's say that you are someone that never did sports when you were growing up and you're just starting to get into it. You cannot compare 
your journey to someone else's that has a totally different background, came from a totally different place in their life. You cannot compare those two. Everybody's background, everybody's story is different, so you have to understand to not compare yourself. Just because someone else reached their goal faster than you, that doesn't mean that you're doing something wrong. Embrace who you are, embrace your journey, embrace where you're at in your journey. And always remember, the faster you obtain a result, the shorter it will stick around. And that's a fat way. Don't always try to seek instant gratification. Don't always try to seek the faster result because most often, those results can go away as quick as you got them. Another thing with body changes, take before and after pictures, even if it's uncomfortable, but it's going to help you out so much. We don't know if your body is changing or if you're reaching results or reaching your goals if you're not taking pictures, if you're not documenting your journey. So even if it's super uncomfortable, please take that before and after picture. And then once you start really seeing results, maybe one day you're feeling down about yourself because you feel like you're really not reaching results, but then you're comparing your first picture to your current picture. You're gonna be so excited and so motivated because you're like, wow, I am reaching my results. It definitely keeps you motivated. It definitely keeps you on track. Always take before and after pictures because you are going to need it in the long run. Last but not least, gym anxiety. I talked about this in the last video. Overcoming it doesn't happen overnight. It's just like a repeated movement. You keep doing that movement over and over and over again until it becomes second nature. So with gym anxiety, you just have to do it. Don't hold yourself back. You always step out of your comfort zone. I know it's cliche to say, but you just have to do it. I know it's hard, but you're gonna be so proud of yourself. Once you do something that you were in a afraid to do your whole entire life. Stepping out your comfort zone, going to the gym, even when there's hundreds of people in the gym, just doing that. Afterwards, you're going to feel like, wow, that was hard, but I did it. Even if it means like going to the gym when there's not a lot of people around or going into a private room in the gym to get your workout done, doing things like that until you build up the confidence. Do that just to get your feet wet. And then over time, you're just going to build more confidence. But that is it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helped you get you motivated and get you excited and start to reach your goals before 2024 begins. We're not going to waste another year. We're not going to say, I'm going to start on January 1st. No, baby, we're going to start right now. Make sure to subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below what your plans are before the new year. And of course, follow all my socials to stay connected with me. My Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook is Ancient Maria Fett. And I will see you guys in the next video.